I thought it would be very useful if I gave you some guidelines as to what a new wineskin church meeting should look like. Is there anywhere in scripture which gives us such guidelines? Well, I'm glad you asked, because there is a verse in 1 Corinthians 14, 26, which I've been banging the table about for many years. And uh, I'm going to read it to you this morning from the Passion Translation, which I use very often. This is 1 Corinthians 14, verse 26. Beloved friends, what does all this imply? When you conduct your meeting, you should always let everything be done to build up, the, the King James says edify, to build up the church family. Whether you share a song of praise, a teaching, a divine revelation, a tongue, an interpretation, let everyone contribute what strengthens the others. In other words, what is contributed, it should help people, not pull them down, but build them up. If someone speaks in a tongue, it should be two or three people, one after another, with someone interpreting. If there's no one with the interpretation gift, then he should remain silent in the meeting and content to speak to himself and to God. And he goes on, we'll go into this in more detail as the days evolve. Now, what the main point is, what is the main point? If you're making a transition from the old standard man in the front with a microphone and a suit and you know controlling everything that is old wineskin we've been there we've talked about that if you're making the transition into a new wineskin church then it is a transition and people have got to get used to it they've got to realize that they're not coming as spectators but as participants now that's very important every one of you should have something to give if you have a church meal you know and you say well who's making the food everybody is everybody comes to the church meal gathers together uh, somebody you know says well you bring the sweet and you bring the main course you bring the meat you bring the fish you bring the vegetables whatever and and people contribute and everybody has to contribute and everybody is looked to to contribute if i say to my body this morning well are you going to contribute to me this today? I mean, little finger, are you going to work for me today or are you going on strike? No, it's working for me all the time. Every part of me, my little finger, my little toe, my toenails are working for me. They're part of my body. And the church is the body of Christ. The New Testament church is the body of Christ. And every joint must supply. This is a scripture that I use a lot in Ephesians. I think it's in Ephesians 4. Let me just quickly turn there because it's not from what uh, the front leader supplies, it's from what every joint supplies. Now you see how ad lib this is because I haven't even looked at the scripture. Here it's Ephesians 4 and uh, verse 16 from whom the whole body fitly joined together according to effective working makes increase the body of itself in love through which every joint supplies. It increases through what every joint supplies. Have a look at that in various versions, Ephesians 4 and verse 16. So if people come knowing that they're going to have to supply, they've got to supply, then they've got the week before the meeting, you've told them that this is what it's going to be like. It's going to be freedom. If they're part of this church, then they can speak uh, visitors, no, they, they've got, there's got to be some control. The person who oversees the meeting, that's a good word, oversees the meeting, doesn't control the meeting, Holy Spirit controls the meeting, but the overseer has to just say, okay, now, if there's a tongue, now, what have you been doing during the week? How have you prepared for this meeting during the week? How many of you had a dream during the week? Would you like to share that dream? Did it have significance for you? How many of you were healed? Did you have something wrong with you during the week? And did you speak to that sickness? How many of you helped someone else and prayed for someone else? Did you see a demon leave someone else? Did you raise the dead this week? You know, let's get ambitious. Let's, you know, if you don't uh, aim for the moon, you, you're never going to hit it. We, we're supposed to be doing these things during the week. Did you speak to your neighbour? Did you 
Did you help your neighbour? How did you how did your week go? Now bring those things that happened to you, your experiences, how Jesus was with you, how the Holy Spirit helped you during the week, and bring them as testimonies into the meeting. Now, with respect to tongues, the gift of the Spirit in church, not many people will have the courage to speak out a tongue and then get an interpretation. This is for when you're a bit more used to it after the transition period. But people can speak in tongues or sing in tongues in the church, even if you've got no musical ability. There will be people with musical giftings, good voices, who can sort of set the motion, the, the singing. You sing songs that you know, you don't have to abandon all the old songs, sing songs that you know, and then after the, after the end of that song, move into tongues. Just close your eyes, lift your hands, and speak and sing in tongues. That is a good way of getting people free in the spirit. It takes the least faith of all the gifts to speak in tongues. And if you're embarrassed about what you sound like, then if everybody's singing, let the youngsters, you know, lead. Right, you, you guys, you come forward. Or you don't know you have to come forward. We don't have to come forwards, do we? We've left that behind. See, let everybody contribute. Let them sing if they can sing and let them lead people in singing. But no formal worship group, no microphone, no women in fancy dress, you know, parading around and singing. You know, blah, blah, blah. No, no, none of that. Let it be normal, natural, and a family getting together to worship their God. That's how it should be. So everybody contributes. That's the main thing. Um, a song of praise, songs of praise, yes. A teaching, a little bit of teaching. Somebody has a revelation, let them bring it. If they're known in the church, let them bring it. A revelation, a tongue, an interpretation, whatever contributes to building up the other. That's what the scripture says. That's what we should do. That's new wine church meetings.